Hi, my name is Derek Fritz with Informatica, and in this video we'll be going over how to configure content management service or services within a multi-node grid DIS environment within Informatica data quality. And first we'll be going over the actual configuration, which is rather brief, in the admin console, and so to get you up and running. And in the second part of this presentation, we'll be going over a lot of the back-end questions and concerns with how this actually works and operates. So to get started, um, how to actually set this up. To associate a content management service or CMS with a data integration service or DIS that runs on a grid, you would need to perform the following. First, actually creating your grid where each node within it includes both the service and compute roles, then creating a data integration service and assigning that service to actually run on the grid itself instead of a node and configuring that service to run jobs in separate local or remote processes, then creating a CMS and a new DIS to run on each node within the grid, associating each CMS with the respective DIS that runs on the same node, and associating all of those services with the same model repository service, or MRS, that your DIS on grid is associated with. So that one MRS being the common link between all of these. So let's take a look at our admin console to see what this actually looks like. And here you'll notice this is my grid. I have two nodes in this domain, and this is my grid demo domain. And both nodes are assigned to the grid. If we take a look at node one, we will notice that the service and compute roles are both set to yes, which will need to be for both of these nodes. And then I have my DIS grid here. And in the properties, once that loads, you'll see that that is assigned to the grid instead of a node and it's assigned to the MRS. We only have one MRS and all of these services, three DIS and two CMS are assigned here. And then I have my CMS one and DIS one assigned to node one and DIS one assigned with CMS one. And that is the same with CMS two and DIS two on node two. So in short, that is all you need to get up and running with this setup. It's rather simplistic from this view, though of course there's a lot of questions and concerns, common ones on how this actually works with some of the functionality, especially when your DIS grid is not associated with any CMS. How does that actually communicate and pick up reference data location properties? So to cover that, let's go back to our presentation. And first we'll be starting with kind of an overview of the CMS and DIS functions to get some better context around this. And then we'll go into uh, further questions on why those need to be linked and how that affects the functionality that they can perform. So with that, our CMS function does just as the name implies, it manages content. It allows the user to create content artifacts to go with MRS metadata artifacts, ensuring that services are properly configured and that artifacts are in the correct location for content to be available and used at runtime. Then our DIS function performs as the name implies, data integration tasks, such as previewing data and running profiles, SQL data services, web services, mappings, etc. So with that, why does there need to be a link between these two? Well, when running a mapping that contains an address validation transformation or some NLP transformations, the mapping execution will be sent to the DIS to be processed, which in turn will need to know where the relevant reference data is stored in order to successfully execute the mapping. These locations are configured in the CMS process properties and their current setting along with any future updates will need to be connected to the DIS for proper mapping handling. It's easy to see how this is taken care of when you have a specified DIS selected in your CMS properties on a single node setup, but it's a little more confusing when we have DIS on grid with no CMS association. So then our next question here is, how does the CMS then link to our grid DIS? Well, all DIS and CMS services on the same node that are associated with the same MRS are linked. The reference location specified in a CMS will be copied over to DIS on the same node as hidden properties. You cannot specify these on the DIS manually or see them in the admin console, but you can verify them in the DIS log. And so let's take a look back at our admin console. I can pull that up. And here we are on our CMS1 properties page. So we'll go to the processes tab just to start. And here is an example. Uh, we have our reference data location up here. And then for NLP options, we have our NER and classifier file locations. And right now they're set to the default dot slash NER dot slash classifier, which correspond or we'll see where that is on the server here in a minute. 
And so that's what is set here. Now we want to verify that that's on the DIS since if we click on the DIS properties or processes tabs, you will not see this information, but it needs it at runtime. And so if we go to our server connection on WinSCP and we're going to navigate to our logs directory for DIS, which is under the info home directory, logs, your node name, services, data integration service, and disk logs. And there you'll notice we have a DIS1 node log and a DIS grid node log. And so we'll take a look at the grid log, which we already have up here. And then in this DIS grid node one log, if we were to search for dot slash classifier, we would see those properties populate here. So even though we can't see them in the admin console, we can verify that they are picked up along with if there were any changes here. So if we go back to our presentation and move on. So then what happens in this setup when we actually import reference data that would populate those locations? Well, when importing reference data, it will initially be imported to your master CMS reference location on the host node. And for reference, whenever you create a CMS for the first time, if there is no master CMS present, it will make that initial CMS master by default. Any CMS created after that, if it already detects that there is a master CMS, then it would have the master setting set to false. And we'll see that in the admin console here in a second. So those physical reference files will then be automatically copied to the reference locations for all their CMS services that share the same MRS so that there will be physical copies on all nodes in this chain. So everything is first imported to this, the master CMS and copied to all others. Whenever the reference file location properties on a CMS are updated and the CMS is recycled, the hidden properties of all other DIS properties on the same node, which share that same MRS, will also be updated with those changes the next time the DIS is recycled. Your primary node server will have one DIS log for the DIS assigned to the CMS and one DIS log for the grid DIS, which is what we saw on the server. You can see the same reference location property settings in both. You could also verify that the grid DIS log on additional nodes can have different settings for these properties specific to those nodes. And so just for reference, let's take a look at my developer client here. You can see I'm connected to that grid demo domain. And here, just for the purposes of this demo, I've imported the Informatica core accelerator content, which has some sample classifier models. And so after I imported this, if we go back to our server and we navigate to those default directories for that dot slash classifier, which you'll find under info home and then Tomcat, bin, and here you'll see there is a classifier and an NER location. If you take a look at that classifier location, you'll see the classifier model imported there. And for reference, this DRH74-1 is my node one server and DRH74-2 is my node two server. So we have our model there. If we take a look at node two, and we're already in that same default or equivalent for Tomcat bin classifier, we have the model there. So it is populated on all nodes in this chain from one import. Now let's go back to our presentation. And the next final question with this is, so what would then happen if you were to add a new CMS or, or spin up a whole new node with a new CMS or update the existing CMS reference locations. Well, if that were to be the case, you can then run the InfoCMD CMS resync data command, which would be able to copy specified reference data from your master CMS into a new specified CMS on another node. And so I've already changed this location for our CMS2, if we take a look there, and go to the processes tab and down here, we will see that I've modified this to Tomcat bin classifier two. And so if we take a look at WinSCP and navigate to that classifier two directory, you'll see that there's nothing here. I'll refresh. So we'll need to run that resync data command if we want to actually populate something here. So if we go to our server and actually first just to verify um, once you change that location, if we go back to the admin console, um, once you actually modify this location property, to have that take effect, you would first need to recycle your CMS service, and then you would need to recycle every DIS associated with it. In this case, that being DIS2 and your grid DIS. Afterwards, if you check your grid DIS2 
blog, which we have up here, and you were to search for that classifier to location, you would see it populate under these locations. And that's how you can verify that your changes are actually being picked up throughout your whole domain. So then with that, with our location being in place, if we go to our server here and here, we are connected to our node one. You can see our path. We are under info home server bin. This is where we can run that resync data command with the following parameters and running it from our info cmd.sh file. So we specify hyphen dn for our domain name grid demo, hyphen sn for the name of the CMS service we want to sync to, in this case, CMS underscore two, hyphen un and hyphen pd for our login credentials to the MRS, hyphen t for the data type, this being classifier data, and hyphen sd for the start time. Uh, so we're going to be syncing all file or classifier model files modified after 6.24.21 at 5 a.m. So if we go ahead and hit enter on that and give it a second to process, we will see that the master management, master content management service contains the following data files modified after that date. And we see our model populate up there. So now if we go back to WinSCP and we, we click refresh up here, we will see that our model has now populated in the classifier two location. So if we go back to our presentation, with that, that about covers everything in this setup. For some references, you can view the following KB article to go over, which covers all the information we presented in this video over how to configure a CMS with grid DIS setup overview, as well as the documentation link for the resync data command for further, further information on the parameters to set with that. And with that being said, we'd love to hear feedback from you available at the following links. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.